guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of my dad's secret ambition. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Finally. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell happened today? With my child, he may, and her father. <laughs> Puppy. Mm -hmm. Of course, I get that. There's so many good cho choices to name a puppy. That dog, oh my god, the dog was like, I don't want this as my name, like, I mean, even though this is, like, not really my name, this is just my name, it's, like, my true name, that dog, like, um, y'all serious? <laughs> and it's so cute when you get an animal, a pet, and then, like, you're trying to call them by their name, because, like, okay, my dog, Cody, when, um, my mom's co-worker gave one to us. His name was Georgia. So I had to slowly but surely at first call him Georgia first because sometimes he wouldn't respond to Cody. And eventually, slowly but surely, I like started calling him Cody more and more. And now he just responds to Cody. But it's so cute. You name a dog or a cat an animal I give him a name. And then it's like, it takes them a little while to be like, oh, that's my name. <laughs> It's the cutest thing ever. You're like, I think you mean to me. Come here. Like, uh, uh. Better spend time with that puppy. This puppy better be in the whole damn episode. I swear to God, the puppy's important. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm No, yeah, no. I'm gonna give him a name today. Oh my god. The poor lady just confused this child. Oh. Mm hmm Yeah. Don't go. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nice math. I know. It's a cute little thing. <laughs> Rip. 
building. I didn't know that. That's interesting. She read about that. So that's why you should really never change your name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't know about that. <laughs> what if it's a bad idea, though? <laughs> I mean, it, it's a good idea, like, no offense, but, like, who knows what could happen? See, told you. Oh. Okay, I thought you would want to keep it. Things that possibly she didn't have because she died so early when she had Hime. Sad though. And so it's almost like her mom is living through Hime in a way. Because she looked, because I mean, Hime looks exactly like her mom down to like everything. She's going to have longer hair just like her mom. Her bangs are going to be long as F. <laughs> How did he may save you? Oh. A baby. I can't look like an apple is so cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> mm. 
in a way he may save you as well. He wouldn't accept that either. If he wasn't accepting the first one, you think he would accept the other one? Mm -hmm, that sucks. If only he didn't have to work today. Oh. You could have had like a day off today so that you could hang out with Hime and the dog. Yeah, it would be better to do it on a, you know, an even number. Even though that is an even number, but I'd rather do it on 40 than 38. I'm just saying, that's just me. Poor baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know what, hey, if you play idle games or any type of game when they celebrate anniversary, yay! Is that supposed to be Splatoon in the background? On the back of the magazine? <laughs> Yeah, because you made it to a hundred chapters. <laughs> yeah, you got a really nice cover. You either are a centerfold of the manga or you get a really nice colorful page. Poor baby, he is so depressed. <laughs> oh my god. My god. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> he made something wrong. That's what you get. Mm -hmm. It was bound to happen, you know. But it also looked like stickers in a way.
Oh. Really, it's on her account. Oh, oh my god. So you did get a letter. <laughs> you're real good. Yeah, you're kind of a little young to have a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. That's every dad. It's just a girl. Oh, a birthday party. Well, we thought you were confessing to a boy. And telling him no. Yeah. You're a kid. You should be able to go to a birthday party. Well, yeah, I mean, you're friends, right? Oh, he may. He may. You know, I mean, the thing is, he has his coworkers. His coworkers. There's going to be a day where he's not going to be here with you and to be able to celebrate with you. So you celebrate with people while you still can. My dad is so much as I love him so much. Oh my god. <laughs> there are times where I feel like he's like Dale from <laughs> what's his face, but not really. Then you got it all the way to 30s. <laughs> oh my god. You look so cute, baby. Mm -hmm. Why? That's a little fucked up, though. Buzz is baby. Go he may go. No, I need a puppy. You give a baby boy. 
Yeah. I mean, but eventually when you get older, you can still have birthday parties with your family, but don't you want to spend time with your friends? <laughs> oh my god. And Roku. Eventually, y'all got Roku. So my mom was still alive, you know. Okay. And Strasbourg sometimes. That still doesn't answer my question, but okay, that's fine. That is fine. I am not at it. This was a good episode. I enjoyed it. Like the birthday party that like, you know he made went for friends. That was sweet. I mean, it would be interesting to see episode nine, like eventually go a little bit into the future where it is he made his birthday and just to see like what happens and stuff. Or they could celebrate Real Blue's birthday or you know, he made his dad's birthday. That would be interesting. Um, celebrating the 100th chapter of their manga. Awesome, because, you know, typically with any manga series, the biggest thing is you're kind of hoping is that it gets to at least 100 chapters so that you can be like, oh my god, like, let's share this. Let's celebrate, you know, a manga getting to 100. I mean, especially if it's like a big, big, big line manga that is very popular and everyone loves but then eventually you know you never know if it's gonna get an anime but typically by the time it does it usually gets an anime i'm not always 100 percent sure about that but it just depends but the next thing you know it'll be anniversary after anniversary after anniversary and then you're celebrating 10 years or even 25 years of a show or a series and you're like damn where did the time go and it just feels so good I'm so happy <laughs> But oh, the fact is, like, we all thought that it was a confession that he was going to make for this <laughs> letter. I was like, oh, my God, she's going to say no. Be like, all right, let's see who this kid looks like. <laughs> oh, Christmas party. <laughs> I didn't wait. Wait. This next episode is not called Your Lion December. If that is not an Easter egg to your lion, April, I don't know what is. I mean... <laughs> Well, number one, why would you be? <laughs> I think it's hilarious that it's named that. I mean, you might make me cry next week. I mean, it's a Christmas episode. A Christmas episode in... Do we technically really call this summer, even though summer officially starts next month? I mean, yeah, we can call it, like, a Christmas episode in spring. But, I mean, mm, it's going to be a good Christmas episode. I know it. But, like, okay. I was immediately thinking that, like, the kid who wrote the letter to her with the love letter, supposedly, I was like, oh my god, okay, it's a boy. Her dad is about to tell this kid off, be like, yada, 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 like, oh my god, you broke my kid's heart. Even though she said no to you, still, you broke my kid's heart. Be like, you had the audacity to, like, send the letter to my child. Typically, it shows, um, when it is a cute girl. And a single parent, whether it's, it's usually typically with the dads, because it's like that, I, even though I haven't seen the show Sweetness and Lightning, um, I've heard a little things about it, uh, the freaking, um, 
Demon Lord show with uh, Dale and Latina and how he was like that with Latina and how he was like, yeah, this is my child. I'm going to protect her from all the boys. It, it just, I love her. She's my child. She's my kid. I'm going to kick your ass no matter what. And you're like, oh my God, like seriously, slow your roll. It's okay. Like she's going to reach that age where she's going to like a guy. And that is the day where most fathers really... <laughs> They're just horrible. Like, it's the day that they're not really anticipating either. The first day when a girl tells their father, their father like, hey, I like someone. And then it's where it's just like, oh, hey, I'm getting married. Those are the two worst things that, like, even though they're, like, excited about it, it's still inside. They're like, oh, my God, I'm not ready for this day because, you know, my little girl is growing into a woman. And, you know, in a way, some fathers, a little bit of mothers, too, don't really want to see that yet because it happens so fast. Time goes by really, really quickly. Everybody thinks it seems it goes slowly, depending on what it is and feels and everything, but it goes by really quickly. And then I love the painting of Hime's mom, Hime, and her dad together and like eating dinner and celebrating stuff. And how her father even said, you know, it's true because you need to celebrate with friends and, you know, family because there is going to be a day where I'm not going to be here. Roku's not going to be here. You know, maybe not even your friends are going to be here because maybe they don't live in the same, you know, city as you anymore. And you might be alone. And so you have to, you know, keep those people close to you and celebrate when, as much as you can, no matter what, because you never truly know what is going to happen. Because still, as of right now, eight episodes in, we don't know where her dad is. And I'm hoping and praying that before this series ends, we get this answer. But I feel like they're probably going to cliffhanger us and they're going to be like, hey, Go read the manga to find out what happens, but it is what it is. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of my dad's secret ambition. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 9. Bye, guys!